Hi, my name is Oryx Cohen, and this is a little bit of my story. I'm currently the Chief Operating Officer of the National Empowerment Center, and we're one of three peer-run national technical assistance centers in the country in mental health. And I'm also, separately from the National Empowerment Center, I'm the co-producer of a film that is currently being released called Healing Voices that we're really excited about. Um, so, a little bit about me. When I was uh, 26, I ended up in the mental health system, and I was told that I would be, quote-unquote, mentally ill for the rest of my life, and would have to be on medications uh, for also for the rest of my life. And uh, happy to say that now, at age 42, um, for me, I don't take medications uh, that don't work for me, um, and I'm happily married, um, live in this beautiful house, um, have two wonderful children, and a great a great job um, that I love and important work that that I'm doing every day, um, and. A few of the things that uh, really have worked for me uh, to kind of get my life together and to actually find a direction in my life um, has been uh, making sure to to get enough rest and sleep. Um, that's really been important. Um, exercise has been has been huge for me. Uh, having good relationships with my family, children, uh, friends, um, and all the peers that I've met in this movement have been huge. Um, and I wanted to also just talk a little bit about um, that I don't I don't view these experiences as uh, necessarily negative, or that there's something wrong with me, or that there's something wrong with anybody who goes through these who goes through these experiences. I really feel like um, these these things happen for a reason, and that there's meaning in madness, so-called madness, and so. I've gone through three of these experiences um, that some would label as psychosis, but I like to think of them more as um, altered states, or that I've been through these vision quests that have been sort of unguided, but um, have had a lot of meaning for me. Um, and um, so each one that I've gone through uh, at different stages in my life happened because I had some unresolved, for me, I had some unresolved trauma that I hadn't, was not able to work through. And um, at that point in my life, I had a lot of stress and I wasn't uh, sleeping as much and things like that. But it's always been a combination of those, those two things that have led to these experiences. And the experiences themselves have been extremely valuable for me to be able to work through that. And I've come through the other side, I feel like more whole and more present and more aware of what my purpose in life is. Um, and my relationships have improved as a result of these experiences. Um, so I think it's really important um, that when people are going through stuff that we ask, you know, what happened rather than, you know, what's wrong? What's, what's going on? Um, how can we fix you? Um, because not only can the person maybe learn, uh, something from their experiences, but we as supporters and, uh, friends of people going through difficult things can also learn. And the whole community and society can learn, I think, from what people are going through. Because they're responding to things that um, aren't quite right with their environment. So that's about it. Um, thanks for listening.